a photo from, from the situation and give it to the stewards and also the stewards can look on the video here. Because of the nature of the profile of the events, everybody wants to win. And when everybody wants to win, you're going to push right to the edge. So yes, there's bound to be one or two people who step over the line. The difference between winning or losing can come down to a split second. All lap times and race results are recorded and verified. Drivers stop in the pit bay to check tyre pressure and make cart adjustments, something they won't be able to do during the heats and final. As sessions end, drivers weigh in with their carts. Coming in under weight could mean exclusion from the race. They then return their tyres and fuel. Inevitably, some problems arise along the way. I noticed on the first day of practice the carts were making a strange noise, yeah. as though they were misfiring, mm -hmm. but it seems to be okay now. Have you changed something? Yeah, what we had to do, because we do an initial run-in with the engines on the dyno back at Rotax in Austria, we then come here, we'd like all the competitors to continue that run-in process, so we run what would be like a richer mixture in the engine. Unfortunately, it was probably a little bit too rich and uh, for the conditions of the track over here and therefore there was a, this misfire that you were talking about. But we've solved that now with a, a smaller main jet um, and, and all's, all's good. So predictions for the week ahead. We've got everybody here supporting their drivers. All the flags waving there as you can see. It's a tough one to call, four classes. My prediction for the junior class is gonna be Japanese driver Ukio Sasahara. In the senior class, I'm gonna go for Ben Cooper of Team UK. Hard to discount the driver that won here in his category in 2007, Pierre-Luc Ouellette of Canada in the DD2. And for the DD2 Masters, I'm gonna put my neck on the line and go for the driver that finished in second in Le Conca, Dennis Cruz of the Netherlands. I caught up with the four pole sitters from qualifying practice. I'm a reigning uh, Euromax champion, so today I'm very happy to get the uh, pole position, so I want to bring a uh, trophy to Japan. A fantastic result today, really happy with the result, uh, hoping it stays the same and uh, really quick on top and good on form tomorrow. In 2007 I, I won the world championship here also, so it's kind of a special circuit for me. But uh, I mean, all the facilities here is, is just awesome. My first time racing in the circuit, uh, having a great time. Uh, been, been away from racing for a few years, but really happy to be back and having a great time with all the, all the world's best drivers. On to the three qualifying heats, and only drivers with the least number of points make it through to the pre-finals. Some, inevitably, don't make the cut. We are just thinking now about future. Uh, this was uh, for us uh, a first step. We hope that after this, uh, I'm sure that we will look into preparation for the next grand final. Pre-finals determine the grid positions for the finals proper. 132 drivers, the qualifiers from all four categories, make up the total grid count. So Ben, on pole position, feeling the pressure? Um, not really. I've mean, been here, done it before. I think. Uh, hopefully we can get a gap at uh, the start and then um, pull away, make it an easy race, but I'm sure the other guys have got something else to say about that. With moments away from the start of the finals, the excitement builds. We are very happy and proud to have this event uh, coming back uh, in LA Raceway. And uh, as we got the feedback from everyone, it's better than 2007, and this was our uh, mission. It's the finals. It's the second time that it comes to the UAE and to Al Ain. I, I say thanks to the organizers, to the uh, sponsor, to the supporters, to the partners, to the stakeholders that have been supportive in, in this event. The karting is uh, basically it's, it's the basis of motorsports, and uh, we were uh, very excited to support them. Team Japan had high hopes of a 1-2 finish in the Junior Max. But these hopes were dashed after pole sitter Tadasuki Makino left the track on the first lap. And Ukyo Sasahara immediately gets it. Oh, and that's a nasty incident. And one of our Japanese guys has gone out. Well, the drivers that went out in that incident were Tadasuke Makino of Japan and Aston Hare of South Africa. Absolute disaster for both Tadasuke Makino and Aston Hare. And well, these things happen in racing.
This left fellow countryman Ukiyo Sasahara to take the race victory. Joseph Mawson from Australia came home second. Third place went to James Singleton from Team UK. It was a sweet victory for Ukiyo. Going into the DD2 Masters and the favourite by far, Cristiano Mogado led from the beginning. This is Cristiano Mogado leading from Danny Brand. The 2010 champion Scott Campbell started from second place, but almost immediately fell foul of 